Hello guys over here and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be doing Pokemon Essentials and for those that do not know, Pokemon Essentials is a thing where you can make your own Pokemon game. It just takes some hard work and time. Uh, but uh, basically I'm just here to show you guys how I uh, make my maps. As you can see this map took me a while. I got this one out of my memory but uh, it took a while to figure out how I would like it and stuff. But the, the best way that I personally uh, like to do my maps is I actually like to do a little rough sketch. So I'm going to show you a picture of, of it right now. Here's the rough sketch I'm going to be working on, on uh, Punica Forest entrance. So I am making my own region and let me uh, show you guys what the region actually looks like. So as of now, this is the region that I thought of. Um, I spent a lot of time on making this right here. So uh, here is where Mangifeta town is, which is the town that I showed you guys just now. And I'm actually going to be working on this area right here. Um, before you actually hit the forest, this is going to be the forest here leading up to the first gym town over here. And here's going to be a cave, so those are going to be the main key points. But before I actually do that, I'm actually going to be making the entrance to the forest before you actually go in. Uh, I was just originally going to just drop you into the forest, but I, 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 would kinda, I thought that would be a little bit weird. So I'm going to be doing an entrance right here, and that is actually going to get you into the forest, which of course is going to be called Punika Forest. Now let's get right into this. So jumping right into it right now, um, basically all I'm going to do is go up here, and then I'm going to make a new map. Um, it's going to be outside. I'm using the uh, black and white tiles because I actually do like those. I like the uh, the actual you know <laughs> graphics of it. So uh, for now, I'm just going to go with a regular 20. I am going to be making it bigger, but basically, um, I'm just going to be making a rough sketch of... Uh, I'm actually going to be looking at my rough sketch while I make this, so... There we go. Um, let's see how small it is, though. Compared to this, I'd say... I'd like to make it bigger. Of course, let me make sure to put um, right here... Panika Forest Entrance. That way, I know which one it is, and I won't get confused. Let's make it a... 30 by 25. Uh, increase it by 10. Hopefully that's a good amount. And then we're going to go back to this and copy this. I'm actually going to, let me, I'm going to do is actually fix this out because I like my tiles to be nice and even. I don't want any uh, weird looking tiles. Okay, so this is of course the base floor. Uh, this is, you know, you got the base floor, the midsection, and the top section. And, and basically the way it works is, you know, it's just layers. It's like for those of you that uh, are aware of like Clip Studio or Photoshop, there's layers on your art stuff. So like for example, let's say here, as you can see, the bottom piece is here. This is the background. Then you got the top layer. You put a house down, and you know if you put another house over it, at the end it's gonna look like this. Of course, this is not what it's gonna look like, but basically it's it's like layered. So you gotta watch out. Uh, let me take that out of the screen. Uh, but that's essentially what it is. It's just layers. So we're gonna work with what I have here. Uh, essentially, let's go down to this right here. I'm actually gonna be meeting this right here, which is my main thing. So let me get this because we're actually gonna be transitioning into the town. Wow, that is a big thing. I'm actually gonna have to make it a lot bigger. So as you can see, I am gonna be changing the size by a lot. So going by my thing right here by my sketch we're gonna have to ha have the height by that and let's try this I think that's a good amount right there yeah that, that seems like a good amount that can go down here uh, unfortunately I'm gonna have to go back to this again because I want to make sure it's nice and perfect uh, there will be times where you're gonna have to you know edit and revision your stuff but at the end of the day you want to make sure that you you have what you want so at least that's what I'm looking for so let me move this say right here uh, maybe right here. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so let me delete this uh, this other one right here. We're not going to need this right here. And there we go. So that's the start of the first one. I might put this on the third layer due to the fact that I'm going to put in some trees right next to it. There's two types of trees I could use. I could use these or these. But these were look a, li a little bit more uh, appealing to me, the smaller ones. So I'm going to go with those. And as you can see in the image, I did put little uh, triangles. Those are going to be the trees. A little circle is going to be the Pokeballs. Of course, you already know where the entrance is, so I'm going to work on the entrance, that way I can work on everything else at, uh, for now. So, let's grab some trees, it doesn't need to be perfect, because at the end of the day, we'll, we'll probably be coming up back to it. So, I'm just going to put some trees right here, uh, right there. Oh my god, I, I am not doing this correctly. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, entrance out would be around here, so let's clear that out. 
And there we go. So I, we, I know where it, it's going to go. And now let me, let's put down some more of these trees. That way I can actually make the border of where I want stuff to be. So let's, let's put some stuff here. And again, I'm going to go back to this again. I just want to make sure I get the basic uh, uh, rub sketch layout that I already uh, originally wanted to do. So we go that and uh, I guess I'll put some trees there. Okay, so there we go. We got the basic setup that I want to go with. So um, I would like to go for... Hmm, you can see right here. Uh, so yeah, basically let's, let's go that. We're going to fix it up. I could do a speed run uh, because it, it is going to take a while. Uh, but uh, that's up to you guys. Let me know down in the comments below if you would like me to just show you how I do it. I'm going to speed it up though. Put some nice music in the background. I mean, there's already some music in the background, but I'm going to speed it up. You guys are going to see my process and how I do this. So I'll get back to you guys once I'm done.
Alright, so as you can see, I have completed a good amount. I've added some grass, you know, I've already added everything uh, that I needed to do. The trainer's going to be right over here. There's going to be a Pokeball here. And there's, instead of the Pokeball being way over here, uh, where the trainer can't see it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it right over here, where they can actually see it, so they can be able to go around. Because if there's nothing here, there's no reason to go down here. So I'll put a little Pokeball over here instead of over here. That way they can just go down this way. This way... If they, and also, I put this little hill right here, just in case they don't want to go through this, they can just go down and go back in town, if they need to do that. Now, there's a pretty big gap here, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of having a gap here, but I do have these, and I do intend to use them. I wonder if uh, they work on this right here, let me see, they, eh, they kind of work, but they don't at the same time. So, what I'm going to do, is I'm actually going to make a little right here and see how that looks i'm not sure how it's gonna look uh in the final process let's see how that looks uh that actually looks interesting to me nah that does not look good all right so before i finish let me just uh, add a little bit of this stuff here i might add a few trees here more uh i'll show you guys the final product of course but hey uh let me know what you thought of this let me know what else i can do to uh for these videos if not i'll just keep doing maps and then uh if you are interested in just seeing me do some maps, also let me know should I speedrun this or should I just talk about it uh, while I do the speedrun. Or if you just prefer to listen to music while I do the speedrun. Just let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video of Pokemon Essentials. I have completed a, a, I have completed a general sense of what I wanted to do. So that that's good and I did add in a few extra stuff. I touched up on some stuff. As you can see I did this as well on this side on the left. I put the uh, the little mountain here because I do want it to be as close to the uh, town map as possible. So it, it is going towards the mountain on the side. So just uh, adding a little steep hill and then and that's going to go into the forest as well. Uh, and then that's when the cave is going to be able to go inside. But yeah, thank you guys for watching uh, this video of Pokemon Essentials. Make sure to leave a like uh, and a comment below please. Uh, I want to hear what you guys think I should do with this uh, Pokemon Essentials. And yeah, let me know. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.